Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into an interesting topic. What if Bitcoin hits an all-time high on election night, and what would that mean for a Trump victory? You might be wondering, why would Bitcoin rally if Trump wins? Isn't he promising economic stability? Well, if Bitcoin spikes on election night, it could actually be a sign that inflation is about to go up. Let's unpack why this might happen. First things first, why do we even look at Bitcoin to understand inflation? You see, Bitcoin isn't just a digital currency anymore. It's seen by many as a hedge, a way to protect against inflation. And unlike the dollar, Bitcoin has a limited supply. Only 21 million will ever exist. So when people start worrying about inflation, they often buy Bitcoin to preserve their wealth. If investors think inflation is coming, they'll buy Bitcoin pushing the price up. So if Bitcoin hits an all-time high on election night, it would likely mean investors are preparing for an inflationary economy under Trump. But why would they think that? Now, let's talk Trump's economic policies. His approach includes tariffs, government spending, and tax cuts. These are policies he says will boost the American economy. But here's the catch. These same policies can actually fuel inflation. Take tariffs, for example. During his first term, Trump imposed tariffs on goods from China. That made things more expensive here in the U.S. If we see more tariffs, companies will likely pass those costs to consumers, making products more expensive. That's inflation. On top of that, Trump's tax cuts and spending plans mean more government borrowing. When the government spends more than it brings in, it usually ends up printing more money, which can devalue the dollar and drive up inflation. So, what would a Bitcoin rally on election night mean? Well, if investors expect inflation under Trump, they might start moving their money into Bitcoin, which is decentralized and not controlled by any government. This isn't just about political uncertainty, it's about confidence or lack of it in the stability of the U.S. dollar under Trump's policies. Investors might see Bitcoin as a safer bet if they think inflation is coming. So, let's get real. What does inflation mean for you and me? When inflation goes up, our dollars don't stretch as far. Prices for food, rent, gas, everything goes up. And it's working and middle-class Americans who get hit the hardest. Then, to control inflation, the Federal Reserve might raise interest rates. That makes borrowing more expensive for businesses and consumers. So, you get higher costs and slower growth. Basically, it's bad news for the economy. And here's where it gets even bigger. The U.S. dollar is the world's primary reserve currency, meaning it's used in trade worldwide. If inflation devalues the dollar, it could affect economies everywhere, triggering what we call a currency war. In that scenario, other countries devalue their currencies to stay competitive, creating even more instability globally. So, if we see a Bitcoin rally on election night, it's not just about Bitcoin or Trump. It's about what could be coming for the economy as a whole. Now, this brings up an important contradiction. Trump's policies may sound like they're aimed at helping everyday Americans, like bringing jobs back or lowering taxes. But if they lead to inflation, it's those same Americans who'll feel the pinch the most. Rising inflation means higher costs of living, which makes it harder for everyone, especially those already struggling. And if that happens, it could lead to serious social and economic unrest. So, to wrap it up, if Bitcoin spikes on election night, it might be a warning. A warning that investors expect inflation even if Trump promises stability. It's a sign that people might be losing faith in the dollar under Trump's economic plans. This election isn't just about politics. It's about the future of our economy. So, whether you're into Bitcoin or not, watch those prices closely. They might just tell us a lot about what's coming next. Thanks for watching. If you found this video insightful, hit that like button and subscribe for more content on finance, politics, and everything in between. Let's keep this conversation going. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.